A lot of the deal with this genre of music comes into the automation of very simple sounds. Um, and a lot of like cool techniques that you can use that's mega, mega popular is the altering of delay times. And as you'll probably know, and I'll just pull up an Ableton uh, plugin for this. But honestly, I could I could pull up a whole blooming bunch of different things that would have this. You know, this isn't just Ableton specific for anyone uh, worrying that we're going down that uh, down that road. We're certainly not. So many many delays, third party ones inside other DAWs. You can select things like repitch mode. It's sometimes called tape mode as well. So inside a minimal techno, the changing of delay times is huge, often when you're not synced to the tempo of your track. So again, as we were talking to Ray, you can find out the exact milliseconds that match the BPM. And in fact, I said milliseconds to Ray and I should have said Hertz. Um, these calculators, will you'll type in, right, I'm working at 124 BPM and it will then say to you, okay, the Hertz value for a single cycle to lock in a quarter note is this, and it will do exactly the same with the milliseconds. So you can set up a delay that is, you know, a particular, in fact, we could kind of probably do something here. Let's just turn that off and let's actually have a bit of sound coming out of this thing. Why not? Uh, let's go for an audio track. Uh, we stick a ping pong on here. Now I don't, in fact, we can, I can even cheat because I can show you something in here that you can do in most DAWs as well. And let's go for some kind of weird percussively bleep or beep or something along those lines. Probably something in here, look. There we go. That's screaming, the kind of minimal techno sound. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Now, most DAWs, if you highlight the grid, it will tell you somewhere the duration of the length that you've highlighted. So you can probably see down here in the bottom, it's telling me this duration is 121. So that tells me that if I've got a delay time set on my ping pong delay here of 121, this is going to delay perfectly in time with sixteenths, because that's what I've got my grid set to. So what we can now do is just play this and that's perfectly in time with the grid and of course we can start messing with multiples of this so if we put 142 in that's obviously now in fact tell a complete lie 242 we've now gone up to an eighth note and if I just put the uh, metronome on so I can literally mess around with these timings I could go to 484 now we're at a quarter note timing. So that's really handy, Shin, because what you can do now is set this up to any particular time you want. And then we can automate and we can use, we can mess about basically with delay time. So we could start on this quarter delay. And then, as I said, we could halve this. So that, what was that? That was going to give us two, four, two. So why don't we bring that down maybe here, perhaps? And I can get this now locked in at 242. There we go. And let's see, we want a bit more feedback on this. Can you hear that's perfectly locked into the time? So you can start doing very cool things like that. But where the power comes in is when we change these things to repitch or tape mode. And in fact, what I'm going to do is just uh, drag this thing. I believe it's using that parameter. And we can now get rid of this so you can hear it more clearly. And this is a kind of classic minimal techno weird delay type things. And so you can basically start pitch bending this, doing weird things. I mean, just for the, the crazy sake of it. Get the feedback right up. You can hear all these weird little glitchy mad things going on. So that goes on loads and loads and loads in minimal techno. Um, and you that's the way that you can time that to your project tempo. So you can go, right, I want to go from here to this mad kind of behavior and move it around. 
minimal tech now as well, Shin. Keep thinking of the Q&A. This, so A, B, A, variation B, A, another variation B, variation A, B. And you just start doing lots of little bouncing around between your Q&A. And you can go for miles with that stuff. But have a listen to things on uh, Richie Horton's Minus label. Uh, Geyser is another great artist who's brilliant at these things. And check those out.